Hi everybody. It's quite a long time since I've done a speaking video, so I thought I'd do one this afternoon and realise I've never done a walk round one of these bad boys. Massey Ferguson's best kept secret this is. 405 horsepower and they are marvellous tractors. They really are fantastic value for money. Lightweight when you want them to be. They're only 10 and a half ton dry weight. And then you can rate them up 15, 16 ton and they pull like a train. 8740. Five ton integrated front linkage. Look at the strength in that. Daytime running lights as we're now used to. You have front PTO if you want to. Two front spools. Power socket, isobus if you want it. Up and down from the outside. Full taxi suspension. Obviously they do 50k like most of the other tractors that we sell these days. Decent stowage place for the drawbar. Although it is quite heavy and you do have to hump it round to the back, but hopefully you don't change them too often. Steering mud guards. You get these outside marker lights on these big tractors, just in case you're running dual wheels and you can, there's a part that slides out to make, make it wider so you can uh, be seen on the road after treatment on the side there. Again, it looks big, but it isn't. It doesn't affect your view from inside the cab. We'll show you that in a minute steps to get up this side as well if you need to to adjust your mirror or clean your windows or whatever you need to do you can have one two or three wheel weights in each rear wheel on these tractors ordered this one with one but usually we put two in each but led lights hydraulic top link we always put hydraulic top link on this is cat three you can have category four link arms and top link if you want to five small valves on this one all with quick release couplings isobus power beyond Walterscheid automatic stabilizers push out hitch so you can use your up and down from here and a spool valve like you can on most of the tractors bit of PTO engagement there Got a lot of nice tractors about at the moment actually sorry I just had to walk around this bloody weight block that was in my way anyway let's get up in the cab Nice big toolbox. <laughs> oh well. Add blues in a nice easy place. Diesel filler. There's plenty of grab handles here. Both sides obviously I'm not grabbing that one because I've got my phone in my hand. Nice big passenger seat. That's folded down at the moment. Semi leather seat that we're used to in the ATSs with the uh, headrest that moves. This is a big cab. This cab is as big as the ATS cab. Not quite, probably not quite got the headroom of the ATS, but we all know that the ATS cab will come on this at some point. Climate control is standard on these tractors. Three buttons down the side there. All massive users will be familiar with those. Nice big armrest. This is a proper nice armrest actually. It's got this this bit here that's nice and soft to rest of your elbow on nicely laid out logical all the buttons are very similar to what we're used to in uh, all the other massy tractors let's just try and get the steering wheel down I guess when uh, the next range comes they'll do away with the center dashboard here and it'll go up on that pillar perhaps as you can see that after treatment on the side there, it's not really in your, in your way. You can see around it quite easily. The view to the front 
front tyre if your ploughing is very good. Nice and laid out, nice and clear on these like on the A-S's. You've got a park lock on there, nice and handy. Quite know why they don't do that on all tractors, but there we go. Two screens on this one. Again, that's handy if you're using an isobus controlled machine. You can have one of them running your isobus so it's always there, and then obviously your other screen. Perhaps you have your GPS or your tractor settings or whatever you may have running and you can just flip between the two and nice and handy, save having to scroll all the time. As I said at the start of this video, these tractors really are Massey's best kept secret. They've got vents all the way around you so that's nice for air conditioning. You've got storage, storage place up here, you've got storage here in the side. There's a little panel that opens in here. This this button here is for double acting and single acting front linkage. You've got your heated mirror in here and it mirror adjustment, but there's another little cubby hole with a, a place in there. There's a net at the back here to stow stuff away. And if I turn myself around, you've got storage place here, a little thing there, and there's another big big storage locker there. You know, there's there's lots of room lots and lots of room in this cab it really is a nice place to work and still these tractors even though everything's gone up a lot recently they're still incredibly good value for money compared to anything else at 405 horsepower anyway i hope you've enjoyed this walk around video of a 8740 and um yeah, i'll see you in the next one uh, please, yeah, like and subscribe. Um, everyone says it, and it really is important to all of our channels. You, you, if you watch it, just give us a like because it really does help. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.